All right, so tomorrow on Wednesday the 16th, I will be hiking Hallasan in Jeju. The weather forecast is showing 45 to 50 kilometers an hour wind. It's showing snow showers the entire way through. It has been snowing for the past two days now, so it's already packed. The original forecast was showing a clear summit, but that has changed. So it's all still snowing. Uh, I do still have my summer hiking gear. My shoes are not winter proof. My socks are not winter proof. Neither are my clothes, but the show must go on. So I will try to do it like that nonetheless. My toes are still infected. Yes, you heard that right, toes, because my right toe also got infected actually. Uh, because I hiked with the left toe infected, so I put too much pressure on the right to compensate. And now both are infected actually, so that is another thing. So this is the current condition of my left infected toe and my right infected toe. So these toes have to hike 20 kilometers back and forth tomorrow. Yep. So I have one and a half kilometers left to go to the parking area and the car is stuck in snow because this is not an all-wheel drive and I cannot move forward so I kind of parked it here I guess which means it would add another three kilometers to my hike. There's another car in the front uh, which is an all-four drive, all-wheel drive, that one. And they're putting like the snow chains on the car. I don't know who this is, probably someone like me. Uh, I don't even know if they are going to the same mountain, probably not, but they're probably passing through, but like, this is bad. Not only bad for me to go there, but also like driving back after I'm done, because this road is very slippery. It's a loud thunder, I think when you hear the loud thunder sound that's already snowing, that you might be in for a blizzard, I guess. I don't know, let's see. You hear that? That's the second thunder in two minutes. not sound well <sighs> going strong going well <sighs> getting there <sighs> winter wonderland <sighs> and my hair is frozen Present Korean mountains with a frozen head. <laughs> so, never let anybody tell you something is impossible or you can't do it. I'm out here, it's minus 20, snowing on a mountain in summer gear Whoa. yeah so yeah uh, do whatever the fuck you wanna do I'm gonna so gonna get frozen. Look at this shit. It's all 
up to my fucking pedal way. So let's just, let's just soak in this view before I leave, alright? I worked hard for this. Oh, it's freezing, man! I am again, like always, the only one here. Oh, this one. We made it though, so... Alright. Everything is kind of freezing up. Oh, it's cold as ice. Actually, yeah, that's true. So, oh, I'm going down. It is snowing, and the snow and wind is like really cold, like proper cold. Oh, I cannot even keep my eyes open. Boy always makes it. Let's go. I'm going back down. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Ow! It's a winter wonder lane. Well. It's pretty cool, right? It looks pretty cool, even if I say so myself. <sighs> I'll just chill here for a sec. That moment when you have hiked 20 kilometers in a lot of snow and it was very cold, you're done and then you still have to walk 1.5 kilometers back to the car. Yay! And I'm hungry! Ah, uh, anyway, almost there. No, I'm not, I just started. Ah, like I said, you win some. You lose some, and you dim some. Aye, but I only win. I can basically not drive at all, because this can't be considered driving. I'm going really slow, because I think this car has summer tires. I have zero grip on the road, so I'm just going very slowly until, until I'm out, the, out of this snow area but yeah we're going back I'm done I'm hungry I'm heading back to the hotel and I'm thawing actually look at this <laughs> job well done all right so look at this blue sky 500 meters which Safe is driving monitoring literally home. like five minutes from the place where i was in the previous video with snow and everything look at this i still have snow on my car come on come on man you must be kidding me actually this is quite normal for islands and also for mountains that they have their own climate so actually it is not too weird current traffic conditions Continuing navigation with current route. No, thank you. You don't have to tell me that though. Just tell me if it changes. Anyway, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so blue skies. You know, I was at, at the beach yesterday, so. Beach yesterday, snowy mountain today. Probably beach again tomorrow. All these people in these other cars are looking at me like I'm crazy. Because I have snow on my car whilst. All of their cars are like dry and sunny and everything. Well. 
it is what it is. I like island lives. The island life. So yeah, I'm heading to the waterfront to just relax a bit before I go back to the hotel and take a shower and eat. Look at this beautiful sky and these beautiful colors. Wow. You know, it should be winter right now. Good day today. To close the day off, we got this beautiful almost sunset view of the bridge. Let's see if I can make it look better before. Sorry. <laughs> What a beautiful way to end the day, eh? Oh man. That is absolutely beautiful. So, I finished the hike and I'm back. So I brought two liters of water. All right, so this one is still full. This one is still full, not even opened. Still full. Still full. <laughs> I brought one liter of Pocari Sweat, which is, I guess, almost full ish. Just drank a couple of sips. Tripod didn't really get to use that a lot. And then this vitamin drink. Okay, so I drank this one. Uh, this vitamin drink, I didn't drink. These jelly actions, I did not eat. This jelly action as well, still. So I drank this vitamin juice as well. So I drank two vitamin juices. I got three protein bars that I didn't eat and another vitamin drink which I did not drink actually so basically I just drank two vitamin drinks and a couple sips of this Bocari sweat and that was the hike you know when it's freezing you don't get thirsty you do get hungry but you don't get thirsty so it was a hot pack that I didn't use that sticks on your clothes or something uh, these two hot packs were for your hands so I did actually use these so I put these in my pocket and they kept my hands warm because I needed my hands to take pictures of course I had some candies that I didn't eat another one uh, took another phone with me that I didn't use just in case and that's basically it there's nothing else so that's what i had in my bag going to the mountain and in the end it was snowing it was cold i was busy didn't get thirsty didn't sweat because it was cold so i didn't feel the need to drink or eat i just wanted to finish it Plus, even though I had the hot packs, my hands were not in my pocket the entire time. So my hands did freeze and then defrost and then freeze again. So I basically only had my hands for using the camera. And because opening the bottles was actually harder than I expected with frozen hands. So I went for the vitamin drinks 
thinking that they would keep me warm, warmer than the water at least, uh, the Pocati sweat. Because I like the taste, I guess. And all the other things I just left unopened. Uh, and the protein bars as well, I mean. Well, that's it.